Apple Pro Bass Fishing. I'm going to go ahead and tell you, this is the best damn fishing game I've played since Odell Lake. And, and that wasn't even a fishing game, so uh, that doesn't even make sense. I, I just really like Odell Lake. The MECC was legit. There are also Northern Pike, Walleye, and Surgeon, including a legendary beast named Lou, more than 10 feet in length. I should probably also tell you that when it comes to games like this, everything's relative, which is to say, yes, Rapala Pro Bass Fishing is actually a decent fishing game, but that doesn't mean it's a good game. Just released to the Wii U, Rapala Pro Bass Fishing is the latest entry in the Rapala series of fishing games that sell most of their copies at Walmart. Set sail of some hotshot young angler who's out to make a name for himself, or, or, or herself, to be fair and equal. Although, to be honest, uh, girls probably have better things to do. So there's tournament play, which puts you in competitive professional tournaments, which are evidently a thing. And there's also free play, which is where you know, the true essence of fishing comes out. You just pick a lake, jump on the boat, and sail around. There's so much freedom in this game. It's inspiring. There are also Northern Pike, Walleye, and Surgeon, including a legendary beast named Lou, more than 10 feet in length. No matter how you choose to play, though, the, the fishing's pretty much like the same. That. And to the game's credit, it really uses the gamepad. Like, almost too much. Steering is done with tilt, casting is done by flicking the gamepad, reeling in a fish is a minigame with tilt and flicking, and the gamepad screen acts as your tackle box and fish radar. Some of that stuff actually works. There are also Northern Pike, Walleye, and Surgeon, including a legendary beast named Lou, more than 10 feet in length. Specifically, anytime the game uses the gamepad as a second screen, it's usually a good thing. Having the fish radar thing on the gamepad as you're sailing is awesome. And before you cast, you can use the touchscreen as your tackle box to change your rod and lure. That stuff's awesome. What's less awesome is tilting to steer, which is pointless, and all the motion involved in casting and reeling. In fact, I, I think that's probably the game's biggest problem. It just, it feels so gimmicky with those forced motion controls. Like, like an early Wii game that you know, just didn't know any better. I mean, it's nice to see developers of a niche game like this actually try some things with the gamepad, but next time, you know, a button press will work just fine, thanks. There are also Northern Pike, Walleye, and Surgeon, including a legendary beast named Lou, more than 10 feet in length. And um, you know, there are also some presentational issues. The game looks meh, but uh, I don't know, it's something about the narrator. Can't, can't really put my finger on it. There are also Northern Pike, Walleye, and Surgeon, including a legendary beast named Lou, more than 10 feet in length. Oh, that's right. He keeps using a weird dialect. It's Rapala Pro Bass Fishing, a surprisingly okay fishing game for the Wii Lou. Congratulations. 